Hi, my name is Matthew and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Fstretch direction features and uh, what it can do. So, let's start by creating a plane. Okay. So, delete history, freeze transform and um, now let's duplicate this so basically what the di direction feature allows you to do is that it, it can it can take a blend shape for the stretch it can take a blend shape for the stretch in, uh, in, in the U direction and it can take the, a blend shape for the, um, the stretch in the V direction what I mean by U and V direction is that when you pull the mesh, for example, um, let's just remove this here. If you take a mesh and you move it like that, it's gonna take, like, let's say this shape here. When you move it like that, it's gonna take this one. And when you move it like in between the two, it's gonna take this one. So this is what it allows you to do, and the the direction uh, which a stretch takes is based on the UV of your mesh. So it's very important that you your UVs are final before you start that, and uh, that they are clean, and that you understand that um, when I say that I'm moving it like that. It's gonna move a, the. It's gonna take the direction like of the of the U here. So it's really based on the uh, on the UV, and that's it. So let's take those here. So let's do that. And this one like that, and this one like that. There we go. Let's just relax it a little bit. That's better. Okay, and now uh, it's very simple. You apply a stretch on this one, and you say, you take this one, this one, and you say stretch, connect mesh, and you say stretch. So whenever you stretch now, let's stretch like that here. You see, it takes this one. If you stretch any way, it's gonna uh, the any direction you stretch, it takes the same one. So let's take this one now and connect it in direction in U stretch. And when you do that, you get this warning. Basically, uh, what it uh, what's written is that uh, you have to be aware that when you take a shape and you connect it as a direction if you go on and continue to do your rig and do a lot of uh, modification on uh, uh, on this case it would be on this one on the stretch and you forget to to uh, to sculpt the, the the according deformation on your U and V mesh you might end up with weird with weird results so what's best to do is to really do all what you can with the those two four here, stress wash, bend in, bend out. And once this is done and you really want to refine and have specific shapes in a, a specific direction, you can just go ahead and duplicate, for example, this one. And then based on this one, you scroll the other one. Usually that's how you want to do it. Um, 
so I, I just connected this one I'm gonna try it now so you see in this direction it's this one and in this direction you see it's this one here it should be better if we put it like that yeah that's better and uh, in this direction it's still this one and now let's take this one connect it as V stretch same warning and now when you stretch like that you have this one and you stretch like that here you have this one here and when you stretch like that see here and here uh, no 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 I'm wrong let's just put it back yeah 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 here it's gonna be better yeah here we, we see it better so um when it's like uh, when we're stretching the same length in u and v direction it takes this one when it's on the v this one uh this one here and when on the u it's this one so here okay now let's position it a bit better like that uh, and uh, and like that okay so now we really can see um, the tree effect happening um, after that you can also paint and control um, how those are um, are deformed so if you go into the attribute editor and in um, tension base u and v direction here you can see that if you turn this up you see that you lose all the u direction here and if you turn the v up you, you lose the v so you can easily control your direction here if you put uh, all of them you see you, lo you lose everything because this one is made out of both of the directions so that's why you also do this one and if you really want more control over that what you can do is paint here and say um, tension UV direction so by default it's at dot 5 everything is at dot 5 by default that means that uh, it's uh, <coughs> it's not only U, not only V, it's both of them and if you want U, put it to 1 to play and you see that you, we lose the V here Let's put it back and we paint it removes the V so when it's at 1 it only keeps the U the, the U shape so if we put it to zero and paint here, you see now we keep only the V and we remove the U. So that way you can really control which one are in a bold where. Um, so that's pretty much it for um, uh, for the direction using the tension. But but uh, you can also um, <coughs> use the direction feature for angle based stuff so let me show you how if we put this back to zero and then uh, let's just delete it delete it three here and now apply stretch again and uh, I'm just gonna make a bend deformer because it's easy to to uh, to, to bend it uh, 
that way. So delete this query again because it needs to be applied at the first. I could have just uh, changed the end input orders, but I'll just delete this query in, the, in this case. It's gonna be faster. Put that here. Now apply stretch. And uh, now let's bend like that. So, okay. First up, we take this one here. We connect as bend in. Uh, yes, bend in. So, this is it. When we bend in, it switch to this one here. And now let's take this one, connect it to you bend in. Same warning as before. And now, you see that when we bend in U, which is the case now, it takes this one. If we put it like here, you see, it's this one here, and when if we put it in B here, it's this one here again. So it's exactly the same principle as the, the other, it's just uh, when it bends. And it's also based on the same UV stuff and everything. And um, so let's take this one, connect uh, the band in, and uh, oops, uh, there we go. So uh, when it's this way, take this one. When it's this way, it takes this one here and. When it's like that, it takes this one here. So that's pretty much it. And you can also do it for the bend out and uh, the squash too. Every um, feature has its uh, direction, very easy to control. It's all the same thing. and. In the angle base here, you see you have the same U and V direction, and you can paint them also. If you go here, paint um, here angle UV direction, same thing. That's five by default. One is U, V uh, is uh, zero. Um, um, so. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, you probably noticed, but function base and angle base, it's exactly, exactly, exactly the same menus and same features, so it's exactly the same thing. The only different thing is this here. You can see in the documentation if you're interested. And so that's about it for uh, this tutorial. I hope it was useful, and uh, thank you for watching.